Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys different file explorer viewing options on your Windows computer. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up file explorer. So you can either click on the file explorer icon on the taskbar or you can go through the start menu and type in file explorer, whichever you prefer. And you want to go up to the view tab up here. So we have a lot of different options we can play around with. First one I'd recommend would be to go underneath this options area on the right side here and just left click on it and then go underneath the view tab. You can show hidden files and folders by clicking on this button here if you want to customize it a little bit so you can get more out of the file explorer if you weren't already doing that. Underneath general you have different options as well. You can show recently used files within the quick access menu of file explorer by keeping this box checked in here. If you uncheck it, it will not have that there. And if you click on apply and OK, it'll make your changes. If you go up to the view tab up here, you can view File Explorer in different ways. You can view it in a list format, extra large icons, small icons, medium icons. If you want to have detailed information next to it, you can click on the details button and that will have detailed information next to it as to what data was modified, what type of object is it. If you wanted to move around these items, so let's say you wanted to have type before date modified, you just left click on it and put it in front. If you wanted to get rid of one of these areas, you just left click on the drop down arrow next to it. And if you click on this little check mark next to system folder and you click out of it, you can see all that will do is it'll, it'll put it within the system folder underneath the quick access menu. And you just uncheck that to remove that. If we go back to view, we can keep this box checked next to item check boxes, which will allow you to make selecting different items easier. So you can see when we're hovering over them, you can see there's a little box that appears next to it. So rather than clicking on it and then trying to find the box, now you can always see there's a box here. And next to the name, if you just click inside of here, it'll select all of them. And that's basically what that functionality will do. And if we uncheck that, we can see it's a little bit more involved to copy and paste certain files, shortcuts, whatever you're dealing with in the moment. Go back into the View tab. You can have a Details pane if you wanted to put one in here as well. So on the right side here, it will give you more information about the modified availability and whatnot. So it's a little nice feature to give you a little bit more customization options here. And if we go back into View, we can have a Previews pane as well. So if you had Word documents or pictures, it would open up a preview of it on the right side here. Since they're all just folders, there's really not going to be anything to preview in there. And you can also go underneath History right here, which will give you some detailed history as to what might have been changed and modified in the past if you had file history settings configured, which we do not, but most people probably don't either. So I do hope I helped you guys out. I gave you a few different ideas to think about of how you maybe want to customize your file explorer view. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.